it's quite unlikely that you don't recognize what this is a picture of. This is a picture of a very important video game called Pac-Man. Um, it was first produced in 1980. It's a Japanese game and it massively um, fed into the popularization of video games. It was an incredibly popular game. To the extent we're now 36, 37 years later, it's still recognizable in a way that most of the games from 1980, if I put those on the screen, you wouldn't recognize them. So iconic that in um, 2010, the Google Doodle was a little game which you could play, which was based on Pac-Man. You are going to have a go at making your own maze game, and you're going to base it around the classic arcade game, Pac-Man. To create the game, you are going to use a piece of software called Game Maker. You'll find Game Maker in Shortcuts and in ICT, and it's called Game Maker 8. When it comes up, there's two versions. There's one you can buy online, and there's a free version. Most of the things you need to be able to do, um, you can do perfectly well in the free version. So continue using what they call the light edition. Give it a second, and it comes up on the screen. We can hide the tutorials. We don't need those. And we get ourselves a nice, at the moment, blank grey screen. Well, the first thing we need to do is start producing some characters and we're going to start by making the characters in a very very simple way i'm going to use powerpoint to make it so for now i'm going to get rid of that and i'm going to insert from shapes i'm going to insert this shape here which as you will notice looks quite remarkably like a pac-man shape now I can change the colour if I want, I can be very, very traditional if I like. By right mouse clicking it, I'm going to format shape and change the colour to a nice yellow. And then I have my nice, simple Pac-Man shape. Now to save it so I can use it, I don't want to go file and save on PowerPoint because I don't want to save this as a PowerPoint, I want to just save this image. So I right mouse click onto the shape. I might have to click it a couple of times and save as a picture. Now I'm going to save it somewhere I can find it, which in my case, to make it easy to find, I have of course made some folders. So I've got a year eight computing and IT folder. I've got a folder for my maze game and I've actually got a folder for my resources. And in here, I'm going to put my Pac-Man. There he is and save that. And I'll go back to Game Maker now, in video games, sprites are called beg your pardon, images that you use in the game are called sprites. Get it the right way around. So I now need to put in a sprite image to use. Now you see later on that there's a separation between sprites and objects, and you'll see later on why that separation is made. But to start with, we just want to put the pictures in. So resources create a sprite. In other words, make an image that can be used in the game. And the name of this, well, I'm going to call this, for reasons you'll see in a second, Pac-Man Facing Right. Now, later on in the game, once you've got lots and lots of pictures, it'll be much, much easier if you use long descriptive names. Otherwise, later on, people will be saying to you, well, which one of these is your food or which one of these is your dying Pac-Man? And you say, I don't know, I've called them all Sprite 1. So having descriptive names will be much easier later on. Now, so now I need to load the picture that I want to be. That one. I've got various pictures in my stuff here. And there's the one I'm going to use. Just a simple, basic Pac-Man. Okay. Open him up. And my immediate reaction to him is he's a bit big. But we're going to, going to live with that for the moment. He's going to click OK. Now, as I said, the sprite is just a picture. In the game, we also have things called objects. Objects are things you can do things with. Now, that might be move them around the screen. It might be things you can fire. 
at each other. It might be monsters that can chase you around. It might be food that you can eat. But objects are things in the game that can do something. So the next thing we need to do is create a sprite. And this time, beg your pardon, talking rubbish. This time, I don't need to make a sprite. I need to make an object. So create object, that's better. And the object I'm going to create is called Pac-Man. Not Pac-Man, just Pac-Man. And the picture I'm going to use is Pac-Man facing right. I'm going to click OK. And now what I need next, so I've got a Pac-Man facing right sprite, a Pac-Man object. And what I finally need is I need a room. And a room is a space in which I can play the game. And for now, I'm just going to put that on there. And into that room, I'm going to put my Pac-Man, who's far, far too big. So what I've done so far is I've put pictures I want to use into the game and they're called sprites. Objects in the game are things I can do things with. Now, the reason an object and a sprite are separate is because I might want to change which picture I use for this object. And fairly obviously, I want my Pac-Man, when he's moving around the maze, to be able to face right but fa also face left and face up and face down. So the object will use four different sprites to make the Pac-Man look like he's facing in the direction he's going. And finally, I've made a room, which is just a space in which the game takes place. 